not be afraid. Throw open the doors for Christ. Open all the borders. Open all the economic systems, political systems. Open places of culture, of civilization, of development. Do not be afraid! We have a new Pope, Carol Wantiwa! This is a Pope who has lived through pain. He knows men's hearts. Today, man is often tormented about the meaning of life. He's attacked by doubts that grow into desperation. Throw open the doors of Christ. Open all the doors. Open all the economic systems. Open all the places of Christ. Cherokee, Tijini, culture, civilization, Rosvoy. Do not be afraid. Often does not know the but Christ does know. Allow Christ to say, Do not be afraid. Do not Do not be afraid. No tengáis miedo. Cristo sabe que hay en el corazón de los hombres. Él solamente lo sabe. Solo él. imaginable nor predictable. Did you read the telegram from London, comrade? It suggests it could be useful if... The Charge d'Affaires is crazy if he thinks this Pope will let us influence the Church. Do you know what you are well? I mean, do we have files on him? No, I know very little about him, but it's enough. And very soon I'll know everything. Maybe some of you were rather surprised by my speech in St. Peter's Square. No, no. <laughs> no, listen, I was the first to be surprised. Those words had been waiting inside of me for a long time, and I believe they belong to the faith, to the culture and to the history so often tragic of my homeland. And I, I want to tell you once again that I think you were rather brave to call me, of all people, to be the Bishop of Rome. <laughs> Alas, farewell. Alas, farewell before so many of you must return to the diocese. And special wishes to Cardinal Wyszynski, who is a mentor to me. And now we thank God for bringing us together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me, but the dear friend of mine is very ill, and I have to visit him. I'm sorry, but please, stay. But Holy Father, I need time to arrange for your escort, and to coordinate with the police commissioner's office. You can't just... Go out. It isn't done. Is it really so difficult to find a car for the Pope? Oh, well, <laughs> <No>, a car. <laughs> With some gas, of course. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Doesn't he understand that he is now the head of the Universal Church? If he understood that, he'd never speak to everyone the way he does. <laughs> so, Stasio, they've put quite a weight on my shoulders, eh? In Krakow, at the Archbishop's office, there were just five of us. In the Vatican, there must be 3,000 people, Holy Father. I don't know anything about the Roman Curia. How can I serve as your secretary? The responsibility is too great. Let me go back to Krakow. Would you really leave me here alone? What would I do without you? You are my memory. You are... You want to go back to Krakow? Okay, I'm going to Krakow too. <laughs> we will go there, Stasha, but not now. Soon. So, which is the room? Marek, Holy Father. In here. Karol. You have become the Pope. What are you doing here? I came to visit my friend. Holy Father. Yes, I will be right back. Yes. Hello? Good afternoon. Oh, 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 you are a heavy boy. Who is it? Hello, Gates. Oh, you want to come up too? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you called me and here I am. <laughs> Good afternoon. What's your name? My name is Vittoria. Vittoria. Oh, what's that? It's an apple. An apple, very nice. I, I have to sit down. <laughs> What's your name? <coughs> Tell him your name. My name is Rocco. Rocco, ah, oh, that's a name from the north. Did you know that? It means tall, big man, <laughs> like me. When you were a boy, did you fight with other boys? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, with the girls, too. <laughs> Are you happy to be the Pope? Of course I'm happy. What would you do with that Pope? The Pope has to be joyful. Do you like girls better with or without braids? With and without braids. But I like them even more with a little cap. such a warm greeting <laughs> and thanks to those who rescued me without you the Pope might have had to stay here <laughs> uh, you can come in now sister Yes. Forgive us, Holy Father. We were accustomed to seeing the Archbishop of Krakow dressed in black. And now we are so close to the Pope. <laughs> and what are you doing so close to the Pope? This is Tobiana. Her job is to make sure everything goes smoothly. How many languages do you speak? A few, but that enough. <laughs> Efrosida, she sees to the correspondence. Mm -hmm. Fernanda takes care of supplies. Mm -hmm. Matilda, wardrobe. <laughs> and Germana cooks for us. So the Pope is a prisoner in a Polish convent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all you do. Speaking of correspondence, I would like all the requests for prayers that come in to be translated and placed maybe here. All of them. What's your name? Marcel, Holy Father. Marcel. You know, I'm new here. I have to learn everybody's name. Thank you, Holy Father. 
So why shouldn't the Pope stay in good health and keep fit? It would be good for him, and it might even be good for the church too. So with your permission, I'm going to ski. But what will people say? Believe me, it's not dignified for a Pope to ski. Only if he skis badly. Monsignor Casaroli, just the man I'm looking for. I want to talk about the trip to Mexico. You want to go to Mexico? The bishops have invited me. Why should I refuse? Mexico is constitutionally anti-clerical. The cabinet is full of Freemasons. Therefore, you, as a foreign religious leader, would not even be allowed to enter the country. So I can't go as a head of state? Nor as a religious? Latin America is a powder keg. That's why I have to go. Do not accept the idea that humanity is divided into two opposing blocks, or that war is the only way to regulate relations between states. We must not allow religion to be confined to the sacristy. We mustn't be afraid to modernize. The Council still has work to do, and we have to rebuild Christian unity, because if we Christians are divided, how can we expect the world to believe? With what strategy? In a world divided between misery, communist atheism, and an egocentric society that is less and less Christian. I am thinking of a new evangelization that will reach every corner of the earth, Europe as well. We may not realize it yet, but martyrs are appearing almost everywhere. Martyrs for reasons of faith, but also for charity, for justice. Believe. Comrade Konstantin Maratsov. Comrades, this is the Vojtiva profile I was asked to prepare. Can you sum it up? He confronts the socialist system on its own grounds. Human rights, exploitation of workers, civil liberties. In his first speech, he shouted, there's no more silent church. From now on, it will speak with the voice of the Pope. Boris Dimitrov is in Rome. His men will infiltrate the Vatican. Meanwhile, we must block any contact between the Pope and the churches we can control. We need to develop a press campaign against him to undermine his prestige and his authority. What are his weaknesses? Precisely what others might think are his strengths. Optimism and confidence. Cemeteries are full of confident optimists. Christians must respond to every challenge, dictatorship, war, selfishness, poverty, by bringing hope. And the church must respond by being on the side of men, all men. And the first to respond must be the head of the church through his presence wherever people are suffering. And that's why I'm going to Mexico. Don't we have any water here? <laughs> Please stop here. It's too risky, Holiness. Please stop. Here, here. No, 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 house, no, food for our children, no, 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 no,
Cristo Caruna. He is black. Cristo Caruna. He's white. Can you laugh? He's all those who suffer. Caia para quem for? Christ was born poor and lived poor. In his name I want to be the voice of those who have no voice or who have been silenced. It's meant to be a private visit and it draws in millions. How? Mexican church doesn't have that kind of power. That's just it. This is what we'll have to deal with now. Turn it off. Mexico's far away. Mexico? Mexico is next door. Voitiva will block any sort of accord between the South American church and the Marxist movement. And we'll block him. <laughs> Clown. Buffoon. We can find him. Where is Father Stanislaw? In the Holy Father's apartment, but the Holy Father is not there, and Father Stanislaw doesn't know where he is. Good Lord. They've lost the Pope. Am I late? Holy Father, I am the Bishop of San Salvador. Ah. Oscar Romero. I am sorry to disturb you. I know that the Vatican received files criticizing me. They call you the Red Bishop. If I feed the starving man, they say I'm a saint. If I ask why that man's starving, they say I'm a communist. You may not know it, but I was made a bishop because I was considered conservative. And you are not anymore? My understanding of the Gospels has become clearer and clearer. So done. No, no, it doesn't matter. Please. Holy Father. The men who control my poor country pay the politicians, the army, and the death squads. And they would like to pay the church as well. Hundreds have been murdered. There were many priests among them. Some of them were so badly mutilated, I couldn't even look at them. So you believe that the only solution is armed conflict? No justice can come from bombs and murders. That is what I preach. Neither Marxism nor capitalism will save our countries. I'm between two fires, armed only with words so and prayers. And... So here you are, Holy Father. They're waiting for you to start the conference. We shall speak again. Bring my blessings to your people. What do you think of Romero? Tormented, but lucid. Some of the Salvadorian bishops slander him because many of the people have abandoned them to follow Romero. The Americans want his removal. They accuse him of following a line of leftist revolution. And what do you say? That the church must act not to please the powerful, but in accordance with its faith in the Gospels and the conscience that comes from that faith. Seeing this world from the inside gives you a different perspective. I was too cautious, Holy Father. I think this trip will bring on important changes. Are you worried, Holiness? I wonder what the bishops of Latin America expect from me. 
with them so divided. Yes, but it is among the priests and the people that the need for radical change is appearing. And they are tempted to find justice through violence. The real outrage is that these so-called national security regimes present themselves as Christian. In many places we see the appearance of reinterpretation of the gospel, which arises more from theoretical speculations, much more than true meditation on the word of God or real commitment. Just as it was for Christ, the true evangelical duty is to side with the poor and reach out to those who suffer. The church must be united and it must keep itself free in the face of opposing political systems and ideologies so that it chooses only man, man with his inalienable right to a life of dignity and mankind's right not only to have more, but to be more. I cry out to all those who violate fundamental human rights, respect man, he is the image of God. You represent the continent of hope. We all, all of us, must be the guardians of that hope. You, the powerful, who have been elected to aid your people, I want you to know that the conscience of man, the cry of the hungry, God's own voice says with me, it is not just. It is not just. It is not human. It is not Christian. Tell our such wicked conditions to continue. Let this truth put fear in all those who use violence to defend their privileges. Enough. Enough of this suffering. But forget it, it's always out of order. Vivaka! We need a high precision weapon. You need it where? Italy. Hmm. Who heads this operation? What are you going to hit us for? <laughs> we have ideals, we are not mercenaries. <laughs> Then what are you? They call us terrorists. You run heroin? Why do you want us? Because you get things done. How much? Three million marks. Payable where? In Germany, Dusseldorf. I will give you the name of the bank and the account number when it's time. You won't have any trouble. He never misses. He has perfect aim. 
Mehmet Ali Acha. He has a high opinion of himself. He knows he's good, very level-headed. You pay, he kills. He's the best sniper we can get. He's doing time in Kartal Meltepe military prison right now. Where's that? Istanbul. And getting him out is no problem. The target? We call him the man in white. Get yours ready. I have work to do first. If it gets cold, Sister Germana will have my head. <laughs> I know. She complains. She never knows what time to have dinner ready and for how many guests. Are there guests tonight? No, no. But it's late. No, no, no. no. Stashu, Stashu. Please. All right. Stashu, you should. Why are you doing that? I didn't know. I'm Helena. <laughs> what a nice surprise. She has your eyes. I know. Come, what are you afraid of? Oh, they did teach you our language, I hope. Yes, but I don't remember how I'm supposed to greet the Pope. With a handshake. A strong one, a Polish one. Oh, <laughs> yes, like that. <laughs> I don't believe we are here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You were in your mother's womb when your parents escaped from Krakow. I remember when you came to tell me about it in the close of San Francis. Carol! What's the matter? Papa and I are leaving. How are we going to cross the border? In the false bottom of a truck. When? Tonight. We are leaving tonight. To leave Poland. Oh. I'm Polish, but... You will always be Polish. Always. Your child deserves this smile for the rest of his life. Helena just graduated from Columbia University. Summa cum laude. What did you study? Sociology. Hmm. I'm very proud of her. She's much smarter than I am. Mother! Oh, that's the best compliment a mother can pay to a daughter. You know, my mom always cries when she talks about Poland. <laughs> that's because we Poles are all romantics. <laughs> you know what romantic means? Dad used to say that about my sister falling in love. Shut up, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You can fall in love with many things. Your mother loves her country. And it hurts her a lot to be so far away from it. You are such a beautiful family. But we are in exile. It's been 25 years now. I'm sorry Papa didn't live to see his homeland again. Your exile will end. You must forget Poland for now. But I, I know my country needs me. Even if your visit were a success, then what? Then what would happen? It would not take much to destroy the small defenses we have been able to build behind the Iron Curtain. If you penetrate that curtain, all sorts of hopes will arise. Don't think this isn't a difficult decision for me. But the world, especially the communist world, will not change if we continue to accept it as it is. The Polish government 
couldn't say no. It's a Catholic country. Well, they got his postponement of his visit. Casaroli is a shrewd man. Comrade Brezhnev is very worried. He keeps reminding us that a Polish pope can cause only trouble. Our people at the Vatican say that he has very antagonistic intentions. Indian passports. Your name is Gurudas Banerjee. Not sure I can pronounce it. Gurudas Banerjee. For you. Where are we going? Iqbal. And then Iran. This land where I was born, that I cling to with the deepest roots of my heart and my life. Christ is the key to understanding man. Without him, it's impossible to understand Poland's history. The Church's fundamental mission is to make man better, more aware of his rights and his duties, more trusting, more... Did you see that crowd? How many people? A million, maybe. And useful. Strike that camera. That doesn't go on the air. It is senseless to make war on the church. To execute Christ from the story of mankind is an inhuman act. This Slavic Pope is here to demonstrate the spiritual unity of Europe. A spirit that crosses all borders. Because we are all, all of us, members of the same human family that must be built upon love and solidarity. Do something. Cut the sound. Cut the sound! Millions? Yes, millions. Believers and non-believers. All Poland was gathered around this man shouting, Kohami Ciebe, we love you. He traveled across his country waving his favorite flag of freeing the man's mind and kept linking patriotism and faith for a better world with no borders. Comrade Gierek made a catastrophic mistake by letting Wojtyla into Poland. I kneel in Auschwitz, this modern day Golgotha. I can hear the screams of human beings who were murdered here. I wonder where the frontiers of hate are found. The limits of man's capacity for destruction and cruelty. I don't speak to accuse. But to remember.
I speak in the name of all nations where rights continue to be forgotten, denied and violated. with you. I heard about Osler and about the Nobel Prize. I want to thank you for your courage. I spoke in the name of the unborn children. Mother, I would like you to be my ambassador of life in your travels around the world. Speak in my name in all the places I cannot go. Your work is such a strong message that it touches people deeply. Uh, it's much more effective than my words. But, Holy Father... Mother, the Pope is asking you. Please, speak in defense of life, of the family, in defense of women and their dignity. Oh. I will come to India. I will come to your house, Mother. I will wait for you. Holy Father? Yes? Romero has been killed. I am between two fires, armed only with words. We left him there alone. Our people's cries, more and more painful, are rising to heaven. The cries of the sons and doctors of Campesinos is not heard only because they are suspected of helping rebels. I shouted in vain that no man can lay a hand on another because men are the image of God. I shouted in vain that blood-stained ground can never bear fruit. Let's pray together that the world will not turn away from our unhappy country where men are sent to kill, where men pay to kill, where men earn money for killing their own brothers. God has sowed goodness. No child is born wicked. Nobody is born to be a criminal, to be a torturer, to be an assassin. Let the body and blood that Christ sacrificed for us be food for our own body and blood, so we too can sacrifice and bear fruit in peace and justice. changed Poland, the working class rose up against the state party that should have been its logical guide. And so Solidarność was born, the Eastern Bloc's first independent trade union. Its leader, Lech Wałęsa, declared that the Pope's visit had contributed to the change in the social climate, to overcome fear. That visit, Wałęsa said, got us back on our feet. Yes. We felt strong. Father, he is the Popiełuszko. He's the son of farmers from Okopy. Worked as a chaplain in hospitals and with young people, and now he's close to the workers. Very generous and courageous. He must be a good priest. The church's place will always be where the people are. And when the people are persecuted, the church must be by their side. 
Now, solidarity means loving and respecting others, believing in freedom, even when we're slaves, and defending our dignity as children of God. The agreement was only signed because Brezhnev was shouting all the way from Moscow for the Polish regime to sign it. He was fed up with the strikes. It could be a ray of hope for the evolution of communism. Socialism with a human face. Do you truly believe that the Kremlin intends to sit back and watch that happen? Its power collapse? They'll do whatever they have to do to make sure the Polish plague doesn't spread to the rest of their empire. One more reason to support Solidarność. And they are non-violent struggle. Yes, but uh, we have to be careful. We are walking on thin ice here. Going to Italy in three days. I'll get your gun there. A nine millimeter Browning. Mehmet! These are refugee families. Our children only know hunger in war. An old African proverb says that when two elephants fight each other, the loser is the grass of the prairie. In Africa, the prairie is the children. Rome looks like a miracle to them. I am asking for a miracle for Africa. My name is Thomas. I am only their escort. Tomorrow, I go back to my people. What are those? Africa is a wonderful continent, dying from exploitation and hatred. I would like to be with you always. <laughs> the day will come when Africa will amaze the whole world. Come to Uganda. We need you to be there. I will come. <laughs> and we will be waiting. Thank you, Thomas, for what you do.
may convey my confidence in men, to cross with them the mysterious space between death and hope that lies in everybody. Love doesn't flow together with death, it reaches far beyond it. remaniement de la structure du chromosome. Je comprends. Vous avez donc identifié l'anomalie qui est à l'origine de syndrome de Down. C'est cela même, saint père Félicitations, professeur.
Hey, he's losing blood. Let's go. Call for Zanetti, his doctor, and an ambulance. Out of the way. Out of the way. How about the Camelli Hospital? I don't know. Here's the man. Follow him. Go. Oh, don't get away. Are you alright, sister? Yes! yes. Oh, you're not going anywhere. He's like... Dr. Mussolini! Where is the ambulance? It's coming, Doctor. Wait a minute. Place His Holiness on the stretcher. Over here. Easy. He's losing blood. What is it, Doctor? Excuse me. Try to move your legs. doesn't die. Just try again. The operating room is ready, Doctor. Forget the elevator. It's on this floor. It's locked. It's locked. Kick it in. Ready? Lift. Easy. Easy. Respirator. All right, let's lower him down. We need an immediate transfusion. Wait here, Father. Proceed. is the surgeon. He's, he's here. What organs were injured? We can't tell. There's massive hemorrhaging here. Pressure? Blood pressure at 70 and sinking. Respiration. 20. Give us more suction. Keep it going. Oh. The A negative? The transfusion center ran out of A negative, but the Rome Poly Clinic is sending their supplies. Are you ready, doctor? Yes. Excuse me. The Vericator. Suction. Suction. Let me see. 
I'm reporting from Gemelli Hospital here in Rome, where Pope John Paul II was brought in after he was shot in St. Peter's Square. He's still in the operating room and no medical bulletins have been issued yet. People fear the worst. They shot the Pope! Is there anything? What? Shut the Pope! Are you sure? But he's not dead. They shot the Pope. Choose. Gather around, everybody! Gather around! Gather around! Quickly! Our Holy Father has been shot. We must pray. We must all pray for our Holy Father. We must pray with a strong voice. Everybody on your knees. We must pray that you are well as soon as possible. That with the strength of God, you recover. Leave me alone. I'm an no. animal. You are a person. No, you I'm too me. ugly. Leave me alone, let us, please. Let us Go wash away. Your Mother! The Pope has been shot. No, he's not dead. No. He won't die. Oh, Jesus. I found you, you in the terrible Go away. greatness me, of suffering. Go Do not take Pope. him Pray from Pope. us. Take him not from us. Take him not from us. <laughs> Let's complete the resection for a lateral iliac anastomosis. I can't find the ruptured vessels. Oh. Ahimus that, quickly. Move your hands, let me see. The varicate, wider. Wider. No, 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 he'll never make it. The pressure is falling, you're losing it, Doctor. Father, give him the last rites. Throughout Poland, people have at once gathered in prayer. It is a very dramatic moment. Not only is the Pope's life in great danger, but also that of their beloved primate. Cardinal Wyszynski, who is said to be dying. Ah, he's the Holy Father. Bad, very bad. They are operating on him now. Mother, my life, please, take my life, not his. <laughs> Nurse, blood. More blood. And what are the rest of you doing? He's a patient. Concentrate. Forget that he's the Pope. 